Uh, percussive, percussive strumming is a, it's a very powerful way to accompany a song because it creates the illusion of a, a actual uh, percussionist accompanying the guitar playing. And the way you do it is <coughs> you have to use the side of your hand, the side of your palm, the fleshy part to land on the strings and mute the strings so if your pick hits the strings, your hand is clicking the strings of the pick hitting the strings, but you're not hearing the sound because you've muted it with the side of your hand. Um, the most basic percussive strum is you do a downstroke on the count of one, one, and on the count of two, you do this percussive slap. That's a little tricky. One way to think of it is to, um, first of all, you don't push your hand, just let your hand drop. Gravity is not just a good idea, it's the law. Just let it drop. And pretend there's a string holding your hand up. Just let it fall. Bing! Like that. And land right on the side of your palm on the strings. As, as your hand lands on the strings, your pick should be hitting the string. But don't force your hand. Don't, you don't even turn, don't turn it. it. It's following this, the basis, the same trajectory as a strum. So my hand looks the same. But, it, but I'm just slightly tilting it in, so instead of my hand going past the strings, it's landed on the strings as the pick is the string. So the counter one is the strum, count two is a slap, then quickly on the end of two, an upstroke. So it's one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, strum, slap up three, four, strum, slap up three, four. So using a a two chord sequence is G to a C and 9. And now we can start filling in their additional strums. There are a million variations of this. Um, this uh, the next one would be adding a slap on the on the on the fourth count. So now you have a slap on two and four with a strum on one on the end of two and then slap on four. So one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you can, uh, instead of doing a slap on the fourth beat, you can actually do a strum, but set it up with a strum on the end of three. So one, two, and three, and four. Strum, slap, and A strum or a slap, you set it up with that upstroke on the on the count of three, so it can be either with the strum on the fourth beat, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. Now with the slap on the fourth beat, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. You can add an up. Uh, you can you can, you can set up the first slap with an upstroke on the end of one. And finally, you can add an upstroke after the slap on the count of four to set up the next measure. So it's one, 